Gabana Uganda imitima yichaba kubira mutu enge ya buiru oru gambo na dila kusara kula eni za wezama simo. Minister of Lines wa kubia mpulizi ganyamu kanga yotu yukana sakuna hivya chukuku franka tumeba za tegeze za. Ngebe nebe ya saridua oru chukule kwa ngorukuo na kuwe gulo. Ngabe taina mzenze mkusara kula eni za masimo. The government is taking to address the concerns of parliament and citizens. The deadline of 19th May set by government will be enforced at midnight. This is therefore to confirm that the deadline stands and all unregistered, unverified and unvalidated SIM cards will be switched off initially for voice communication. In other words, the holders of these cards will not be able to receive or make calls. Minister Franka tumeba za tegeze zante wa ntubanja ba debe yambi sa masimu gano mwangere imenye ya mateka anorecho chunushijia kuyamba kwa kusala kama masimu agoko na kuyambi kwa ngalati Uganda. That elaborate on the use of information in the register and mandatory use of national ID cards respectively. Therefore, the requirements to validate and verify SIM cards using the national ID is grounded in law. The chief legal advisor of government, the attorney general, correctly advised. The overall objective of this exercise is purely to provide national security safeguards. While mobile phone telecommunication is one of the most commonly used methods of communication among citizens and has greatly revolutionized the way businesses are run, negative elements have also taken advantage of the same means of communication to plan, coordinate, finance, and execute their criminal activities with ease and sophistication. Franka tumeba za tekeze zati bandai ukana tiba sani doku wanga tebe la likira kuchoku sari waka masimo gawawo na dalaba tanda baku wanga pewa andisa wange nkola ya mobile roma na eja kusigarange tambula china wada As a matter however to mitigate loss of money for those with mobile money deposits the service will not be switched off for the unregistered, unverified and unvalidated SIM card a transition period will be allowed a transition period will be allowed for those mobile money customers to either withdraw their balances or transfer them to registered SIM cards or to their bank account. Minister Flanka tumeba za genze maso ngao goro na chino ganya tebo naba naba sari tuwa kula inizama masimo gawe ba ukweba kakiso kula banga teba bazu wandisa. Another question. After this deadline, is there any other opportunity to verify valid SIM card? Yes, is the answer. While the switch off will disable voice communication of the affected SIM cards, the exercise of verification continues just as the registration of citizens is continuous. Any citizen with the requisite verification document, the ID, will then approach their service provider to either register to either register for a new SIM card or verify their old but switched off card. Minister Frank Atumeba Zemo Ngeri Yamala Bude Kampuni Zama Sime Zinageza Koko Gano Kugondi Rechila Gira Cha Government Tiwakole Wako Nga Mateka Yo Gala Gira. The regulator UCC has been instructed by government to inform all telephone operators accordingly. Any telephone, any telecom company, any telecom operator that fails to comply or tries to attempt to frustrate the exercise will be penalized in accordance with the law. Minister Frank Atumeba Zibada wa Yamu Neba Nama Ulire Ategeze Santi Banda Yukanda Waba Deba Yuka Wandisu wa Kufuna Indaga Monto Baki Rizibwa Kwe Yambise Nambiri Kumpapula Kula Bangatina Upe Wandisa The National Identity Registration Authority NIRA will allow temporarily new ID applicants new ID applicants whose IDs are still pending processing to use their application form numbers. If I register today and there is a process to get my ID or to verify my citizenship, they will be allowed to register with their application IDs in the interim. Once they get their IDs, with their national identification number means, then they can resubmit online using the USCCD code star 197 hash.